Today I am coming to you completely fired up about an issue that I am so passionate about, and that is all the pink washing that happens every October. What's pink washing? To me, that's anything where companies are sticking pink ribbons on stuff and to, in order just to sell more stuff. Why does it irritate me so bad? It irritates me because the majority of these businesses, the majority of these products have ingredients in them that are known carcinogens, chemicals that are known to cause cancer. I see a pink ribbon on it, I read the ingredient list, and there's not one, not two, but three or four known carcinogens in that ingredient list. So how is it that we're causing cancer while at the same time marketing things in the name of breast cancer research? The guy who came up with this concept was a genius. He's made people millions. And you know what? That business just keeps growing because we keep causing more cancer. So now we need more money for research. So now we need to promote it more and everybody's got to throw more money on it. And who's making the money off of that? That's what I want to know. How about instead of putting this money toward products that have a pink ribbon on them, that have product chemicals in them that are known to cause cancer, we turn the whole thing on its head and refuse to buy products that cause cancer. I got so irritated. And this is what got me fired up. Last night, a flyer showed up at my house from a local ice cream shop. Their big October promotion is they are selling a pink milkshake in the name of promoting breast cancer research. So a portion of the proceeds from this milkshake are going to go to breast cancer research. First of all, not nearly enough information for me. I need to know how much money, who's it going to, what kind of research are they doing, all that. But the bigger issue for me is I ask an employee, what goes into that pink milkshake? Well, guess what? I get that ingredient list, multiple known carcinogens. Multiple ingredients that are known to cause cancer. Don't even get me started on red food dye. We are once again being duped into giving our money because we all have loved ones that have been affected by breast cancer. We all have loved ones that have been affected by cancer. I personally have lost several friends to cancer. We're all affected by it and we all want to find a cure. We don't want people to be suffering from this awful thing. But these companies are duping us into buying their product that contains something known to cause cancer because they're appealing to that part of us that doesn't want our friends and loved ones to suffer from cancer. So I'm taking a different approach this October. Instead of buying this stuff that goes a proceed, a portion of the proceeds go toward cancer research, I'm only going to spend my money on products that I know do not cause cancer. I'm going to read the ingredients on everything I buy. My food, my beauty products, my cleaning products, anything that I purchase, that I bring into my house this month, I'm going to read the ingredients on. And if there are any of these chemicals in those products, I'm not buying them. Because the way I'm going to promote the end of cancer this month is I'm going to support those businesses that have taken the steps to clean up their products or who have developed products that are just clean in the first place. Guess what? Most of these big companies sell the same a product, similar product, in Europe where most of these carcinogens are banned. Why in the world aren't those formulas being sold here? Guess what? The, the, carcinogen, the ones with the carcinogens are cheaper to make. So they're going to sell them to us as long as they can. Well, if we start voting with our wallets and refusing to buy those products that have these chemicals in them that we know to be dangerous, then maybe these manufacturers will start switching to the formulas they're using in Europe that are so much safer. Let's vote with our dollars this month. Vote to stop causing cancer in the first place. Let's get this cancer epidemic under control. That's the challenge I'm taking this October. Will you take the challenge with me? Let's force these companies to stop bringing all these chemicals, diluting, 
just bringing this deluge of chemicals causing cancer into our homes, into our bodies, into our lives. Let's say stop. Let's say enough. We're not bringing these cancer-causing chemicals into our lives anymore. And you, Mr. Manufacturer, you better clean up your act if you want me to continue to be your customer. Join me in this challenge this October. Let's work on eliminating cancer this month. How about it?